Love is in Melbourne. You can see right there. Guess what, y'all? It's 2020, and 2020 has been trash. And guess what we got going on in this 2020? We have a election was very important, and the election is also trash. But the local election, it's not trash. You have good people who's running for mayor, city council, sheriff, etc. And I have met a lot of great people with the business that I own. So, today we're going to speak about these people and the presidential election. Okay? Well, let's get it. Me. This is my opinion. If you don't like it, okay, that's you. You can leave your hate to the bottom. That don't mean I'm going to respond because I really don't feed into negativity. But, we have two people running for president. We have Trump. We have Biden. Besides the presidential election, we have the local election. That is very important. So today, I am going to bring in a couple of candidates who's running for city council. You got Randy Foster, and then you got Kay, who's running for mayor, and both are running in Palm Bay, Florida. I don't live there, and I feel these are some awesome people. And since I can't vote for them, I want you to vote for them. And I want you to hear what they got to say. If you don't like what they got to say, fine. If you do, at least you heard them out. And when you go vote in Palm Bay, you get to decide if these two candidates are for you. So are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, Randy. Hi, my name is Randy Foster. I'm a candidate for Palm Bay City Council's seat three. A um, little bit about me, I grew up in New York City, um, also served in the military. I'm one of the few veterans that served in the Army, Navy, and Air Force. I'm a retired Air National Guard member. My whole career, I've uh, been in law enforcement. I was a police officer for five years, and then I also served as a United States Deputy U.S. Marshal. And I retired in Washington, D.C., and decided to move here in Palm Bay. I have a good friend that lived here and I, throughout my career as a U.S. Marshal, I spent a lot of time in Florida chasing bad guys, protecting people, recruiting uh, new, new deputy U.S. Marshals. But I always loved Florida and I decided to move here um, several years ago. And then once I got here, I saw a lack of leadership in government. I saw uh, a potential to, for this city, Palm Bay, to grow and be really an uh, exciting city, one of the best cities in the state of Florida and throughout uh, the United States. And I wanted to be a part of that. Um, since I've been in Brevard County, I work with the juvenile justice system. I work with um, Palm Bay High School. I own my own business as a law enforcement consultant. And I decided to run for Palm Bay City Council because of lack of leadership and the negative and the corruption that's been in the Florida Today News. With my background in law enforcement and passing all types of uh, background checks as a deputy U.S. Marshal, I could bring integrity to the city council. I'm running for city council. My focus is going to be on public safety, infrastructure, and growing a commercial business. Um, like I said, I, I'm a business owner and I've been very successful in the last four years. I grew a small business consulting firm into a nationwide uh, law enforcement expert consulting firm. And I, I know something about business. I had business throughout my career. Uh, we could build our commercial base, uh, commercial business base in Palm Bay. Um, we, we're in a very important time with this COVID-19. This pandemic, um, a lot of businesses are closing. A lot of people are losing their job. So the next city council needs to focus on business. We need to make sure that we don't fall deep into a recession or depression. 
And I want that's going to be my focus. And I'm the only one in my race that could bring that. Um, so growing our commercial business, if we lose L3 Harris, Palm Bay would be devastated. Bavar County would be devastated. So I want to bring a, a manufacturing company here in Palm Bay to have more than one uh, leg to the stool, so to speak. So I want to have a maybe a a um, battery, a renewable battery company, or maybe a solar company. Whatever that company out there, we could compete with it. We have a lot to offer here in Palm Bay. Public safety. As a federal air marshal, I responded to Katrina in New Orleans, and I helped save 3,000 people, the worst natural disaster in the United States. Part of that disaster wasn't just the hurricane, but it was poor government. Poor government that didn't fix the infrastructure. The levees broke. Poor government that didn't have leadership to evacuate people on time. Poor government that didn't um, heed the warning of science and, and emergency management, FEMA. I don't want that ever to happen in Palm Bay or Brevard County. So I have some ideas how we could, um, with policies and procedures and volunteers, prepare for disasters like this. We don't have an emergency manager in Palm Bay. It's on the county level. And what's happened in the county and what's needs for Palm Bay to be totally different. I learned that as a U.S. Marshal. I learned that as a federal air marshal responding to disasters. Public safety is more than just a, a, a hurricane. It could be a tornado. It could be a pandemic. If you look on my website, voterandyfoster.com, I have a video where I went before city council and warned them what COVID-19 could do to us. This is back in early March. And all I was told to go to the website and I'm giving them information that's beyond the website firsthand knowledge because I came from overseas uh, from a vacation and I saw what COVID-19 was doing over there and how that that foreign country was preparing the public for remix the boat, we missed the boat and that that boat to sell. Now we have to listen to the CDC and also social distancing and things like that. And we got to protect our city government. We got to prepare for what if 50% of the people in the city government get COVID-19? What would that do to the Palm Bay city government? It would shut it down. What if 50% of the Palm Bay Police Department get COVID-19? You won't have a police department. What is 50% of firefighters get COVID-19? We won't have a fire department. You just can't hire people off the street in a day to do a police job or a fireman job or any other job in the city, okay? So that's, that's what we have to prepare. The city's not prepared for that. They're not prepared to continue continuation of government. I've been doing this for over 20 years as a U.S. Marshal for the federal government. Leadership matters, leadership matters. And I could bring the leadership that's needed for Palm Bay to move it to the future in 2021. Um, I talk about public safety infrastructure. It's another uh, very important. We can't attract business to Palm Bay if you don't fix our roads, if we don't fix our water. If you ever drive in Palm Bay at night, it's the darkest city that I ever drove in. And I've lived in many cities throughout this country. It's like you driving in the backwoods. We don't have enough lighting. And if we don't have enough lighting in a bad storm, it could cause somebody their lives. So infrastructure, lighting, water, sewer, protecting our, our, our lagoon, protecting our Turkey Creek. These are the things that I want to bring to Palm Bay and I could do it with your vote, and I could do it with my leadership. I just want you to uh, take a look at my website, votebrandyfoster.com. Go out to vote on November 3rd, it's very important. Your vote matters, you matters, and I'm gonna work hard for you. Thank you.
Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, Kay. Hey, Palm Bay. My name is Kay Mirage, and I'm running to be your next mayor. Um, a little bit about me. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I'm a small business owner, and I'm also a real estate agent. I currently sit on the planning and zoning board for the city of Palm Bay, as well as our community development advisory board. I've also been married to my husband for 19 years, and together we have an amazing 17-year-old son who's about to head off to college. So that makes me an empty nester. But, you know, growing up, I'm originally from the island of Jamaica, and my, my father is a former, well, is a retired army veteran, and my mom is a former school teacher. And they've always taught myself and my siblings the value of hard work, the importance of education, and of course, our commitment to serving our community. And that's what I've always done and always will continue to do. And when I look around in our community and I realize there's so much needs to be done, especially when it comes to our young people, that's why I put on my platform that we focus on the arts, the trade skills, and entrepreneurship. I want to make sure that a young person will choose to stay in the city of Palm Bay because they see that they can grow. And so it's very important that we create that environment for our, our young people. And if you're a small business owner in the city, we want to make sure that we have business friendly regulations that will help you to enhance your business. It's very important that we make sure it is easy to do business with the city of Palm Bay and in the city of Palm Bay. And when it comes to our infrastructure, you know, you drive on the roads, the lights, non-existence in some area. It's very important that we start looking at our infrastructure and making it safe for you in, in our community. And of course, police and fire, very critical um, infrastructure that is missing here in our city. We wanna make sure that we invest in our police and fire department. And that is my commitment to the city of Palm Bay. And we live and we, we want to make sure that you are able to work here in the city. You're able to play here in the city. And it is my commitment to work with council, ensuring that we're not just creating a community where people, you know, just, you know, sleep and then go to work somewhere else. We want to make sure that you can do all three, live, work, and play in the city of Palm Bay. And I want you to come out on November 3rd to vote. Vote, vote, because it's so important that you want to exercise your right, but also knowing that the future of Palm Bay rests in your hands. And I'm ready to lead our city on day one. So if you want someone who will bring fresh ideas, a fresh perspective, bold leadership, someone who is not connected to the who's who, someone who doesn't have all the ties to all the previous persons who have brought shame to our city, then elect K Mirage. I'm ready to work. I'm being committed and accountable to you. Thank you for your support and I look forward to seeing you at the polls.